you know, releasing music, when I first started releasing music, you know, January 1st, when I let my album out, was knowing when to let go and be okay with it. And I think something that really helped me get past that um, was understanding that in an ideal world, I will never stop growing and improving and learning and, and mastering my and honing my skills and, you know, getting as good at things as I can. And I think part of accepting that is accepting progress as it is and being okay with releasing something that you might look back on in 15 years and be like, oh, well, that sounds kind of amateurish, you know, but you have to, if you, if you just keep holding off until you think you're as good as you can be, you're never going to get there. Right. And you're never going to be able to release your art or share your creativity with other people. So I think for me, it's a weird balance of, you know, being able to continue working in, and, and, and improving so that you have a, a product that you're proud of, but also knowing when, you know, to put the pencil down or, or when to, you know, stop tweaking things, you know, this knowing might be when a, to be okay with it. This might be a generalization, but I feel like it's a favorable generalization for you. I feel like women, females tend to go deeper and stick with something deeper and do the best job that they can. Because they always feel like that's it's never gonna be enough. Whereas guys, it's like this is enough. I've done I've done what I need to do. And I feel like this is something that we see in society, not only in music or creating. Women always try to like get up to a higher standard. They hold they hold really high standards. Again, it's a generalization, right? But they right. hold very high standards because they gotta meet some sort of standards that either the society themselves, their friends, their family has imposed on them. Right. How do you yeah. deal with being a a creative in an industry like like music and being a, a female creative in in that industry? I mean, there's so many different ways to to answer that question, you know, because as much as it sucks to say like that does impact everything that I do, you know. And on one hand, it's it's kind of a, a blessing, you know, to to cuz you can find other women that are you know dealing with things and you know talk through it and you know we have a great community in the music industry of women that are like building each other up and um you know finding ways to support each other but on the other hand like you said um kind of society is given this this ex expectation of perfection and a lot of time that that gets really hard to cope with and to deal with and i've, I've struggled with perfectionism for forever that's part yeah. of the reason why I have to remind myself that it's okay to have something represent progress and it's okay to release something that maybe I won't always consider perfect. You know what I mean? Like it, things are going to change as I grow and I develop. Um, so yeah, it's definitely been hard. It's also a, a music and especially production being a female producer. That's an almost entirely male dominated industry and field. Right. And I definitely struggle with imposter syndrome a lot with that too. Um, and another great thing is being able to talk to other women about this. And I know that, you know, they feel the same way, but being in a male dominated industry and you constantly feel like you have to prove yourself, even if it's not immediately in front of you, somebody saying like, oh, you're not good enough or whatever, like in the back of your head, you're always thinking that. Yeah. So it's definitely something you have to constantly be aware of and constantly push through. Um, but I also think it, it, it it's, it's healthy <laughs> for you to, to feel that way sometimes, as long as you can, kind of put it in perspective and and know and, and think of it as a motivator rather than a detriment i keep saying it that like you we gotta we gotta watch out i mean guys we gotta watch out because i really feel like women are working really really hard and consistently Always. hard you guys Always. you girls are consistent about it and if because you don't watch out, be. you're gonna take over. I mean, you're gonna take over the industry anyways in, in a yeah, few I was gonna years say, <laughs> the, if you don't there's watch nothing out you can do about that <laughs> yeah I'm just I'm just super proud to be to be sharing um, my creativity and and my life and and my friendships with people like you who not only see the creative side of things but also see the bigger picture of things like we said like women in music and women in the world and 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 these topics in general I I only associate and I can only relate to people that know how to talk about things within context and without the context like okay how is this related to us within music and creativity and how is this related to us as humans as a, as a world and i feel if more people were to treat everything they do and think about the local and the global aspects of what they're doing i, I don't know maybe it would be a better world I, it would be like okay if i do this if women are treated this way in this industry 
how does that reflect? How is that reflecting what's going on in the world? Maybe we should start and look at that that way, you know. And I'm happy that with everything going on, like people from different countries, women, people of different races, this is the time where where everyone's just thriving, where everyone has a chance to become whatever they want. And it's harder than before to become whatever you want because there's more people. But at the same time, it's it's easier. Like we were talking about it. Um, mm-hmm. So with this kind of like small conclusion, I just wanted to thank you for being here. And before I leave and before we leave, I just wanted to ask you, what, where can people go and find the, the, the new projects that you're working on and, and support you and follow you? Because we're going to play, I'm going to play a little, a little part of that song. I don't care if I get the copyright strike. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to play a little part of your song as soon as this episode finishes. Um, so where can people find more of your awesome content? Yeah, thank, I mean, first of all, thank you so much. It's been it's been a pleasure, you know, talking to you and reflecting and, you know, taking a break from my endless pile of work to sit down uh, and chat with you. So, of course, thank you so much for, you know, creating this platform and, and asking me to be on. Uh, all of my announcements happen through my Instagram and my Facebook pages. They're both uh, Kira Oki 98 it's a little it's like my name and then karaoke people ask me all the time what that means but that's what it that's what it is it's k-i-e-r-a-o-k-e 98 um and there's always a link in my bio with uh places that you can listen to what i'm up to and what i'm working on perfect and it should be somewhere on the screen i don't remember where i put it in the video but your your tag is gonna be there so go follow go follow kira <laughs> yeah there we go <laughs> listen thank you so much for being here it was it was such an awesome podcast. It was awesome having you on. I wanted to have you on for so long. Now we got everybody in Musamp and I'm Thank really you. happy about it. Yeah, I'm glad we can make this work. Thanks so much. And I'm excited to to hear the 